to the toilet. So preferably I use a bottle. Um, and that is a bottle. And I firmly believe that toilets, you know, the, the sit down ones, are only meant for sitting down and women. Because if you stand up to use a urinal, it splashes everywhere. But if you use a bottle, it is contained. So it is actually more sanitary to urinate in a bottle than to waste your time and walk into the basement to use the restroom. So uh, I'm the Red Monk, and today I will guide you upon which kind of bottle is best to urinate in. And I think the best way to learn is by looking at the bad examples. We have bad example one, which is the can. I have a LaCroix can here. And uh, these are especially bad because you have to have like six of them for one urination session. And also, it is metal, which can cut you, which... Uh, do not use cans. Cans are not good to urinate in. The typical kind of bottle, uh, the Dasani bottle, is much too small. Especially, you know, if you get up in the morning and you don't feel like walking to the basement, this thing ain't gonna suit you. You need something a lot more robust in size. And this thing is uh, just too small. So, I gotta say no to this, but another kind of wrong example is a bull. Bulls uh, are not very effective because the same principle is why we use a bottle in the first place is that it is more sanitary, and this is pretty much just a toilet that is portable. Some of the bottles are fancier. This one's fancy, but it, it's too shitty. It's too much on looks and not enough into design. So it is very shitty. Never go for anything that looks good because it's going to be shitty. Now, the two uh, best things to urinate in are large bottles and milk jugs. This is a tea thing, but it looks like a milk jug because I don't have any milk. Uh, this is especially fine because of its size and its uh, whole size. Now, I think size is really important. That's why I actually have two of them. Because, you know, during the day, this is, one's always enough for the day. But, you know, some of the time, when you get up in the morning and you've been drinking a lot, this, this isn't even enough. You need two of them. So... I always have backup, but always have two. But with something of this size, you'll be good for your daily urinations. The, the morning urine, the, the morning going at it, is always much more than the later urine throughout the day. So that's why I have two. But, I mean, if you're using a milk jug, you should be fine with just that. An important thing... To watch for is the hole size on the top, how the urine enters the bottle. And there are two sizes that you do not want. Uh, the first size is something so small that the little uh, slit on the tip is bigger than the hole. So when you urinate, it is a larger stream that is bigger than the hole, which would just cause urine to spray everywhere. So you know, this is smaller than the tip, but bigger than the hole. So it works, it works. But if this was uh, ever so slightly larger, you would have a new issue. You know how you can stick your finger in a Coke bottle and it gets stuck? If it's that size, you know, this is too small for that. But if it was, you know, ever so slightly a little bit larger, you know, bigger in size, your thing could actually slip in. And then get stuck. And that is an issue that you do not want to deal with. Maybe you can get some canola oil. But uh, best avoided. 
And it's even better if it's just so, you know, absurdly big, like a tip of a milk jug. That's usually big enough. And because there's no cho there's no way that I can get stuck in that. There's something like There's no way you get stuck in like a hole that big. Oh, this is tea by the way. And the main reason wait. The main reason I cannot recommend a milk jug is because it promotes non-dumping. You have to immediately pour that stuff out of the window or pour it out within the next hour. Because if you just let that urine sit in that bottle, it will smell like shit. It, there's no way to unaromatically cleanse a room of piss smell. Like, see these bottles? I haven't cleaned them in two years. Because right when I uh, use them, I immediately pour it out of the window. Right out of the window. And if you live in a city, uh, the people below you would just think it's water. So there's really no big deal. You have to immediately dump that. Unless your entire room will smell like urine. And if you're in a milk jug, you're like, oh yeah, I can dump it later. And then two weeks pass, and it gets like dark and like a dark yellow, and it just smells. Now, For our uh, lady friends, they are also definitely able to use bottles to urinate in. Now, it is a lot more difficult because they're not as uh, dexterous on how they can urine. But I will show you how uh, our lady friends can also use bottles. We're going to start with uh, an incision right here. Cut it. Always cut away from you. So, for our uh, lady friends, you just cut a hole right here and just stick it between your legs. Like this is your uh, legs. This, this is one leg, that's the other leg. And this is where it comes out. And if you kind of tip it down a bit as it fills up, if you do this with a milk jug, I'd say for the females, if you use a milk jug because you have more room, because you automatically lose a lot of storage when you have to add the adaption. Because, I mean, that's that won't work. So for our lady friends, just cut a hole. The hole is right here. Ends right here. So yeah, um, it is more sanitary to urinate in the bottle than a toilet because it just splashes everywhere. And even our uh, ancestors have promoted using plastic to pee.